Okay, let's have the solution to examples 11 and 12. So if vector A has component 7, negative 1, 5, and vector B, negative 2, 3, 1, find the scalar projection of B onto A and the vector projection of B onto A. The scalar projection of B onto A is like B cosine theta. So from that product A dot B equals E B cosine theta. So therefore, B cosine theta or B sub A is equal to A dot B divided by A. So this is vector A. Vector B is negative 2i plus 3j plus k. So B cosine theta is A dot B over A, where A dot B is simply sum of product of corresponding components. So B cosine theta or B sub A is equal to 7 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 3 plus 5 times 1 divided by square root of magnitude of A square root of 7 square plus negative 1 square plus 5 square. So this magnitude of A is 5 square root of 3 if you compute this with your calculator. So, so computing the values using your calculator B cosine of theta is negative 4 square root of 3 over 5. So it is negative. Remember, that's a scalar. Then for the vector projection of B into A, all you have to do, because this is a scalar, is we multiply this by the unit vector of A. And the unit vector of A is simply vector A divide, divided by the magnitude of A, which is 3 square root, 5 square root of 3. So substituting negative 4 square root of 3 over 5 times 7i minus j plus 5k divided by 5 square root of 3. So simplifying this, you will have v sub a equals negative 28 over 25i plus 4 over 25j minus 4 over 5k. So that's it. Example 12. <coughs> three consecutive vertices of a parallelogram are negative 3, 4. So this is just a 2D plane. So negative 5 comma negative 1 and 1 comma 1. Find the area of the parallelogram. So let's plot the points. So negative 3 comma 4. Then negative 5 comma negative 1 in counterclockwise manner. Then 1 comma 1. And then the missing side should be, you have to verify, it should be 3 comma 6 xy is 3 comma 6 but anyway that's not needed we only need that if you want to solve for the area of the parallelogram by area by coordinates to check your work but i will leave that to you so you have to verify that is 3 comma 6 and if you know how to compute area by coordinates from analytic geometry then do it I'll just present the vector form, which is simpler. So let's define this vector here as vector A, then another vector, the other side of the parallelogram as vector B. So vector A is equal to 1 minus negative 5i plus quantity 1 minus negative 1j. So that's the area, the magnitude of the cross product between vectors A and B. So vector A is 1 minus negative 5 of i plus 1 minus negative 1 of j, so it is 6i plus 2j. While vector B is quantity negative 3 minus negative 5i plus 4, quantity 4 minus negative 1j. So it is equal to 2i, positive 2i plus 5j. So we now obtain the cross product. So remember that i, i cross i is zero. So we only have six cross five, six i cross five j. So six times five is thirty. Then i cross j is k, positive k, so it's positive k. Then the other one is two j cross two i, so it is four, while j cross i is negative k. So 30k minus um, plus 4 times negative k. So a cross b is equal to 26k. So therefore, the magnitude of 26k is 26. So the area of the parallelogram is 26 square units.